Hello. Can you hear me? I can't hear you guys. Your microphone needs to be. There we go. Hi. Hello. <laughs> How exciting. Talk about going full circle. Hey, Elijah. How long has it been? Oh, 2012. Well, yeah, we're just going to show you something. This was the happiness project map. Right. That we created, and the date was April 30th, 2012. Okay. So, do you think we're ready? I think that it's about time. It's a what? It's eight, almost nine years. <laughs> no, it, that's crazy. I just have to see if I can turn up volume on my computer, but I think it's full. No, it's not full. There we go. Okay. It'd be interesting if there was a, a nine-year waiting cycle that you had yeah. to, that you had to do before going into <gasps> big stuff. Nine years will be April thirtieth coming up. Really? We can tell that story. Because 2021. Right. April 30th. Okay. Well, as you can see, I'd like to, the, to, at the start of this, I'd like to do a bit of a needs analysis to figure out the whys and what's. This is a, not quite a first contact, but it's, it's a start or initiation of something. Yeah. And so I would like to uh, start out by figuring out what it is. First, Lori, why don't you give a bit of context for anyone watching? Um, and then you go there and then lead me in to uh, introduce your beautiful guest. Awesome. Okay, so Elijah, what, what I found out, because I've been working with the map since 2011, I did the Synergy map for LR Future. So I have organized this within my company since 2011. And I saw how powerful it is when my team gets on the same page with values around the roles within an organization. So that's the inner group map. And then what we did is years ago, this is Candace, and Candace and I created a map because we went through doing the maps with you, Elijah and Lorianne. Mm -hmm. And um, so I haven't done a whole lot of individuals maps. I'm going to say maybe 20. That's it in this period of time. Okay. But Candace and I came together years ago and said, um, we had to do an exercise called into me. I see. Mm. So you go face to face, you look each other in the eyes for, I think five minutes. And when we were done, I felt nothing but peace, serenity. Um, I felt so connected to me internally. And Candace, can you share how you felt when you did it with me? Do you? So Candace, we both had to tell our story. I felt at peace. Candace goes, I felt like I was on a stage talking to 10,000 people. I go, Candace? Little shy Candace. So it made me realize that that five minutes of staring at each other, because I can be on a stage with 10,000 people. That's where I want to go. We felt each other's energy come through in this into me, I see. So we knew, I knew right there that this was something that I wanted to take forward into the world. And so Candace and I got together, we became friends and we spent a few days, quite a few days working on a map and we wanted to create what was called a happiness project. So I did training with Robert Holden, who's a psychologist from England in New York. And, um, he said, go take my, go take the stuff and just create happiness in your community. So what we did is we thought, well, let's test an inner group map and an outer group map together. So we did a synergy and a harmony map together at the same time. We put all the values cards out. And what we did is we went through. So our intention was to, um, was to create happiness within and without in our community and allow the ripple effect to the world, focusing on groups of individuals that are ready to walk the path, the journey to healing. And then we said the outer, that was the inner. The outer was for society to see us as an impact on the soul's journey through the happiness project. So then we went around the map and we went, started at one with research infrastructure on the inner group, uh, science economics on the outer group, and we each chose a value and then what we did from there 
is, you know, this was 2012. It feels like it was yesterday. Mm. So what we did from there, as we chose our two cards, the two of us worked together and said, what fits this? So like, let's just say infrastructure on number two, we picked truth for the inner group and diversity for the outer group. Okay. So it was really cool to go through the exercise as two people going, okay, we each chose a values card, but we came together to work together to say what best fits this map that we want to work on to take the happiness project out to the world. Okay. So the context was, so Candace and I got together last week and we're deciding that we're probably going to get together weekly, minimum an hour to start really taking this out there. And it was really cool. When we got together last week, Candace says, Lori, I'm here to help you focus. <laughs> you think she knows me? <laughs> so I, it was almost like, it was like I felt a relief because I've never had anybody go, I am here to help you focus. Right. So that piece I felt back in 2012 with her doing the into me, I see, that was it. It was to bring that peace to me. So, cause I get really excited and then a million light bulbs go off. So now it's a matter of saying, okay, this is where we want to go. We know the mapping truly, Elijah, I know this mapping is what's going to help heal the world in every capacity, inner you, outer you, inner group, outer group, cause it can be used anywhere. Mm. So I says to Candace, well, what if I practice because I haven't done a, an individual map for a long time. And she goes, I'd like to do the choice map. <laughs> and I'm going, uh, okay. So then I start kind of going through it. And then I called you that day, Elijah, and you and I had a conversation and you sent me the new choice map. Right. This is a beautiful map. So I had shown that to Candace and she also saw the old choice map. Right. And she goes, Lori, I'm way more connected to this map than the old map. Right. So then I go, okay, now I, my curiosity has just been, how's that gonna look? Like, I don't quite know where I'm going with the choice map. So that's why Elijah, I asked if you will, look at that. Um, so I asked if you would facilitate right. whether each of us do a choice map, Elijah, or Candace does it, I observe and make notes. Right. Well, that's up to you, right? Okay. I mean, yeah. I, sometimes it's better to go through the experience, but you and I have never really done it this way where you were observing me do it with someone. So that may have more value for just to kind mm -hmm. of see how I, I fumble about and do things. Yeah. Because <laughs> um, I would have, I've got, a, we, I've got a map for each of us here. Okay. And I honestly, I would have no problem um, doing a map tonight. Because I think okay. you're right. I'm experiential. I need to go through the process to really feel it, but I'll be taking notes at the same time. Okay. 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 So, okay, good. And, but so it's basically you guys are diving into the happiness project and you were interested in perhaps using the inflow matrix as the operating system for it. Mm -hmm. And then to see from your point of view, uh, more instruction from my point because you really haven't got a lot of instruction you've had the maps and you, you've had the cards but you haven't had a lot of actual teaching from me right that's right that's <laughs> and there's we're gonna no have you down here in yorkton saskatchewan what's that <laughs> we'll have you here in yorkton saskatchewan oh i can't wait to get there in the dead of winter and uh <laughs> amidst a covid crisis there's no yeah, exactly we can get around this whole building without having to go outside Really, I just never have to leave. I would just yeah, that's right. You'd be fine. You can see here. Day. We can bring food in. <laughs> I could have a little laugh, but I say I'm looking yes. for truth. I'm looking for truth. <laughs> Why not Yorkton, Saskatchewan? Saskatchewan's a pretty cool province. And we really have amazing people in our region that are really stepping out of the box and going into the modalities and the stuff. Us humans. We truly need to pay attention. Mm. <laughs> so this Fortress. is just another and kind of to Elijah, a lot of people go, oh, I don't want to do that. That's kind of threatening. This is to me totally non-threatening. It's your values. 
the highest values you hold around different choices that you're making in your life. Yeah. Like I was telling Candace about the um, design your ideal job map. Mm. I think that one's going to be very powerful because a job is a big thing in your life because you spend a lot of time at a job or in a business or whatever. So I think that one's going to attract a lot of attention. Well, especially with almost 100 million people out of work, uh, there's a like there's a huge demand, right, for a real job that suits your gifts, suits your talent, suits what you want to do. And the normal economic system doesn't start there. So if we create a new economic system and we start there, that seems like a pretty good place to start. And everyone's going to be very interested in participating because it's actually fitted around what they want to do and what they're good at, you know, like. Yeah. Money really is the after the money is really the aftermath. It yeah. really is. It, and I think you start to understand that. Yeah. And I think most people have so much potential that they rarely utilize. Uh, yeah. And they just need the situation, the framework and the, let's say, coaching or facilitating to get them into a different place. And all of a sudden, boom, they're they're a different person. Yeah. They found their gifts. So, OK, the, the choice map, like just to let you know, no one's ever asked me to do this before. So this is a, a first time in a it's sense. It's a learning thing for everyone. Yeah, yeah. it is. Yeah. It's new for all. Well, I'm always learning in terms of this stuff. I mean, every time I do a reading or a session, it mm -hmm. pretty much is different. Like it, th there is a uniformity to the to the tools, but they can be used in so many different ways. Mm -hmm. That it's uh, that's what's so great about being a facilitator. There's a there's a lot of creativity within the new paradigm toolkit for like which map, which card set. So this one we're doing the choice wheel, and right now you've got the value cards and the choice lenses. Now we could really because You've got the values there. Um, we could do a double, a double wow zappy. Yeah, let's do and, it. And actually do a value system on the choice wheel. Uh, again, this has never been done before. So if anything goes sideways and <laughs> your life all of a sudden becomes very, uh, it, it has nothing to do with me. I, I claim no responsibility. <laughs> Hey, never worry about that. Every day is magic with me. Yeah. Honestly. <laughs> yeah. That's that's not good, eh, for the originator at the beginning of each video to go, I'm not <laughs> responsible for what's about to happen, okay? <laughs> Could you please sign this form saying I am not responsible? <laughs> uh, well, I think that's that's one of the main reasons why, you know, I've been sort of so obscure these last years. Since I've seen you, you might have thought that I might have gotten somewhere in terms of, uh, but I would have to say I've just been doing more and more research and more and more tools and more and more. I've been going inward rather than outward. And so I need now I feel is the time to go outward as the sort of world stops. And now it's it's kind mm -hmm. of time to bring in something new. So this is this is exciting. Right on. So, so thank you for for asking me. Yeah. Okay, so first thing I would do then is ask you to get an index card each. And uh, hello, hi, <laughs> how are you doing? Hmm? It's been quite a while. Sorry, it has. A it has, yes. And no. uh, how's your practice going? I actually don't practice uh, body talk or okay. um, massage or anything like that anymore. Okay. What I, I'm a florist. Holy cow, that's different. Okay. It is. Uh, but I have been um, just working on something uh, this last little while, and I felt maps were really important. And so Lori was my connection with maps. And honestly, we haven't really connected since, I would say, 2012. Mm -hmm. Like, we would say hi to each other every once in a while, but um, it just so happened that... I, I'm just at this space in my my life where I need her and and she must need me. Yep. So yep. we just needed to get together and and she saw an advertisement with the flowers and she said she wanted to order flowers and it was kind of funny because the day before I was thinking of her and so then just since then we just really connected. You said nine three six kept coming up. Yeah. Are are you? sort of interested in let's say designing your ideal job or doing something different or doing something more in alignment with your gifts uh, no i think that 
that isn't a, a question of what I want to know. I just feel that the maps that um, we went over with Lorianne were really important. I just don't know why. And so I'm here to really just learn what's going on and then I'll know where it fits. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's more of an exploration. Yes, okay. absolutely. But it is tied into the happiness project? I think so. Well, I think this map is, this is right. brand new, brand new stuff, yeah. right? Okay, yeah. coming in, coming in cold out of the, yes. out of the big Saskatchewan <laughs> fields of plenty. <laughs> okay, so plenty. on the index cards, then write down your, let's say, primary intention for the map. And this is something, Lori, that you always do. It's the, it's the starting point for everything. Always get them to put down somewhere what the intention is. So let's, let's go back. What is the purpose of this map? In a sense, like the prime reference point of the map is going to be this intention. You could call it purpose. You might put goal, depending. Um, but it kind of gives like the field focalizes around the intention and then the values and the lenses are sort of pieces and parts of how that connects into the rest of life. I need to say this. Okay. So what you have now is you have each of you have chosen a choice deck and a values deck, and each of you is going to choose 20 cards from each deck consciously, not through divination or random. So you guys close? That's 25. <laughs> Do you? <laughs> Oh, that's hard. <laughs> well, those are just like just in case. Yeah. Yep. Okay, now switch decks and do the same thing with the other one. Oh, cool. Okay, let's go. Okay. This is a massive reading, you know, like in tarot decks, they might do four or yeah. five. This is going to be 40 cards. <laughs> this is a massive reading here. Yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yes. And I said, simplify it, right? It's like. <laughs> simplify, yeah. I was thinking maybe we would just do the choice lenses, but then, you know, without the values, it's not as fun. So. Yeah. I, I agree. So this is about. No, you got, yeah. Yeah. I need and if suddenly we disappear, uh, just click back in, right? It's okay. oh, this is just on one on one, so it should be okay. Sounds good. I mean, we'll see how long it takes to do the choice, and then the values can come after. Because actually, this map I don't have. Uh, it's not set up to put the values on. Oh yeah. Oh, it's not. No, if you if you notice, there's no real places. Oh yeah. Okay. Well, so we'll figure this we, out as we're doing it, right? Yeah. I mean, you you can just write the values beside it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you guys ready? Yep. Okay. So now uh, turn them over and shuffle each deck. And what we'll do is we'll put the primary 10 choices, which is going on top of the, um, the time cycles. So maybe I'll say something about the time cycles is, is the main foundation behind the whole inflow matrix is these nine cycles of time, mm -hmm. which are on something called the time translator. Yeah. And so it goes from lifetime to year to uh, the lunar cycle, I'm in the way, the daily cycle, and then in yellow, the seasonal cycle the pink at the hourly cycle, the minute cycle, the present moment, and above me, timelessness. And in the middle, all times. And so 
would you, would you like to comment a bit, maybe a bit, what, what these nine cycles of time mean to you, Lori? Well, I guess when I look at it and I see going straight up to the one dot, dot nine to timelessness, I go, it reminds me of anything's possible when you take on ownership and be the steward of your life with the guidance, right? Mm. Um, that one is very powerful for me. And then just seeing the lunar cycle, because I'm paying more attention to that nowadays, but going the minute cycle, I, that's the 1.7. I'm going to buy the minute. Like, I don't even feel like I think that way. Mm. But I've done another map with you, Elijah, with our group of four that time. And we touched on this a little bit. And I, I still, I don't quite understand it. The minute I cycle? Yeah, I don't quite understand it. Well, it's, it's like we're in it right now in a mm -hmm. sense of our discussion is going back and forth. And if you were using a timer, you could time this by minutes, right? Okay. We're, we're in a one hour session, which is the, the pink wheel. And then at the orange wheel, the, those are the minutes. And then at the red, it's the present moment. And then in the center, oh, yeah. the timelessness. Yeah. So there's a distinction between the present moment and timelessness by having levels of consciousness. So you're giving the mind cycles of time with levels of consciousness as a primary model. And if you notice my sort of head in the middle, uh, it, it's, it's kind of like the crown chakra going right up. And then if you look at the outside, the purple is your lifetime. And that's your whole zodiac. That's like your birth chart with all your planets in it. And then you go to the blue cycle, which is uh, a year's. And then you have the aquamarine, which is a lunar cycle, and then the green, which is a daily cycle. Mm -hmm. So it's basically looking at these cycles of time that exist, but putting it all on one map. And then the center point is the yellow one, which has the Mayan glyphs, which represent us, which each one of these is one of us. And so there's kind of like, I have this theory that when you get 20 people, each through their Mayan sign, that you create the superhero team and you start to activate your DNA in a, in a different way. And so that to me is when you sort of uh, bring in your superpowers. And so what we're doing is we're sort of clearing the mind of limitations by introducing a new operating system because our mind is basically working on habits, right? Unconscious habits that we don't really have a lot of control over sometimes. So now what we're doing is we're taking choice. And the first part is choosing one concept that goes on top of each one of these cycles. So it's like giving a focus point to the mind and giving a place to the word. We're changing from a dictionary into a sort of a holographic universe that's multidimensional. And these words actually start to connect onto this time machine in a sense and gives you a focus and you get to choose. Now you can choose randomly or you can choose like you're doing right now of placing a concept on each one of these wheels to start the connection into your whole thinking operating system. So it's a sort of, it's a new way of thinking. Mm -hmm. What I liked was that you said clearing the mind of limitations because it's only our mind that stops us. And that's why the timelessness really stands out for me is that there's no limits, mm -hmm. it's timelessness. So it's timeless. So I really like that clearing the mind of limitations. And, and so to do so, mm -hmm. then we have a map like this, which takes that map and just places it on the Enneagram, which adds a whole new type of uh, configuration where uh, maybe you'd like to say something about the Enneagram, Laurie, because yeah, I- so Elijah, I would love to say a little bit about it because I did my training in 2011 in the Capitol Mountains, just outside New York with um, Russ Hudson, and Don Riso. And I had been introduced, honestly, to the Enneagram a little while before that. And then I started researching it. I couldn't stop. I just go, holy cow, this is like a real self-discovery tool. And so I went and did the training down there. Then I came back and I'm starting to ask people, well, nobody around here even knew what it was. Mm. I think there was one person that knew. And then I met you guys. And you've got this mapping system with nine points. And I'm going, does this relate to the Enneagram? And I just go, because the Enneagram is 
it really comes down to a self-discovery tool, not to say these are the, the Enneagram of personalities. It comes down to what's my dominant personality in that circle, because the circle is the whole you, the triangle in the center is your identity. And then we go, what's your dominant personality? And then you start going, okay, my dominant personality for me is the enthusiast, the seven. You start to see, where do I go in growth? Where do I go in stress? And then you start looking at what's called a wing beside each. So type seven would be a six or an eight wing. And then you see the eight, I'm an eight, leads to two other numbers. And all of a sudden you're going, holy crap, already just determining my dominant type, I'm already connected into five other personalities right off the bat. Right. So I, I, I'm just going to stop you there, Lori, because it's okay. it's a large topic. And I, I just wanted uh, the viewing audience just to get a taste that behind this symbol is a huge body of work that has personality profiles. But what uh, the, the, most people don't know is that you can use it to map processes. You can use it. It's a universal symbol that has three levels of the of existence from the unity of the one to the trinity of the three to how the three come together in six ways. And so then by putting these nine time cycles on, it's kind of, it's, it's, it's an invention. It's a, it's a different way of looking at how time comes together. And so now what you're going to do is you're going to choose a way you can go through those 20 concepts that you chose and take, take the, take them out and place one on top of each time cycle because it fits, or you can shuffle the deck and r randomly do it uh, with the intention in mind of what you did. So which would you like to do? Random and yeah. intense. I, I love that better. Yeah, the totally. Yeah. knows way more mm -hmm. than me, right? <laughs> most people choose that way. I mean, most people don't want to try to figure it out. Okay, so shuffle it up and then turn, place it face down and then we'll go through each one. Are we doing choice? Yeah, we're doing the choice. The choice, yeah. Okay. I got a value for Oh, cool. <laughs> Already. It so fell out? Putting, yeah. We're putting one on every spot that's on our, our map. Okay. Yeah. The one through 10, right? Yeah. Okay. So not, not the, the okay. extra bubbles there. Perfect. So like what? Well, we'll what do this one mean? first to see, because we're already, we got 20 minutes left. Um, okay. So I'm not sure we'll get through everything, but. One more time. Lifetime cycle. Yearly cycle. Lunar cycle. <laughs> Daily cycle. I really feel that Lori and my time that we came together is a cycle as well. Because ah. I was counting the years between to see oh. what was going on and stuff because I, I, I do realize that things go through cycles, right? Mm -hmm. They really do. And like Elijah just said, is there something to do now with the nine-year cycle? Yeah. Well, there does seem something strange about... Something is. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. <clears throat> okay, so who wants to go first with their concept at timelessness? Perfect. Oh, that's a nice one. That is to find the reason for like something like this. Wow. There you go. That's nice. And Lori? Timelessness. Intention. <laughs> Kidding. <laughs> that's why I love oh. it so much, right? It's just perfect. Purpose and intention. Okay. So which one do you okay. want next? Uh, how about the lunar cycle at three? The lunar at three. Yeah. Lunar cycle yeah. is impact. Oh. Impact. Do you want to sort of place it up to the camera as you get it kind of thing? Yeah. That's good. Just backwards, hold it. Isn't it? Yeah, that's awesome. Okay. Is it all backwards for him? I don't know. Oh, look at mine. Connection. Connection. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, sure. Okay. Now the six. And now the six mm -hmm. relationships cycle? at, yeah, the hour cycle. Individuality. Okay. Oh. And Lori? Habit. Habit. <laughs> That's an 
an interesting one. Well, because it's kind of about how do we break the habits that we're stuck okay. in. That's when I chose that card, that because it's all, all about behavioral patterns. Right. <gasps> and that's an individuality state of being you. An individual. Oh wow. Okay. Okay, so how about lifetime at one? Insights. Insights. Oh. Okay. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Okay. And Lori Energy. Okay. <laughs> Four. And four uh, act at uh, daily cycle. Message. <laughs> Message. That's a good one. That is a beautiful one. Oh. What do you got? Idea. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I do. I. Maybe. This is just. Yeah. Okay. At two yearly. Vision. Vision. Oh, decision. Okay. So it's okay. And mine is relatedness. Okay. Relatedness. Oh. Okay. So now over to seven at a minute. Or eight. Oh, okay. Seven. Yeah. Oh, no, no. One, four, two. Okay. Eight. eight. Sorry about that. Yeah. Eight. Let's go to eight. Present moment. Oh, that's change. Change. Nice. I don't know about that one. Boy. Uh -oh. Look at hers. It's change and mine's effect. Oh, interesting. That's effect change. Yeah. Oh, wow. The result of a cause that has come to be manifested by a cause. Wow. Okay. Now five? Five? Five at season? Thoughts, okay. Oh, impression. Okay, so, okay. Seven. Uh, minute. Yep, seven a minute. Feelings. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> that is really nice. That's beautiful. Yeah. Oh, a frequency fence. Oh, wild. <laughs> Oh, wild is right. Read, read the description of that one. It says an artificial construct meant to stop perception or keep someone's perception within a particular range. <gasps> so it's like, let's shift our perception out there. I, I chose that on purpose because I love the frequency fence. What's blocking people? Yeah. That's how I felt that card when I chose it. Okay, yeah. what about one in the middle? Oh, we didn't put one in the middle. We didn't do it. We forgot, forgot the, the middle. middle. Okay, so choose another one for one in the middle. Okay. Okay. Understanding. Oh. <laughs> Understanding. Nice. Okay. And mine is desire. Ooh. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shoot. As you see, the, the, the choice words actually work in polarities, like they, they, they really work well together in pairs, right? So yeah, that's what I'm noticing. The message and the idea, the connection and the impact, the decision and the relatedness, the insight into the energy, the change of the effect, the feelings of the frequency fence, individuality and habit, thoughts and I mean, all of those, right? You could look at in regards to happiness. My goodness, that I is know, awesome. Elijah, this is crazy. Is, an idea. Oh, thoughts and impressions. Mm -hmm. Really nice. Oh, individuality and oh wow. That's why I got goosebumps right now. As you said that about it comes the choice. Choice cards always come in pairs. And when you said that, we started looking at all our numbers, comparing with each other, like purpose and intention at nine. Yeah. At timelessness. Why don't you go through both the dualities and just kind of say something from your point of view? Well, for the purpose and intention, to me, it's kind of the same thing. Whereas an intention is something that you feel um, that you want to do. Purpose is more you're driven to do it. Uh, like I feel what my purpose is, is something that I live every day. But it's kind of funny that it kind of goes with timelessness. I know. That's what I thought was kind of cool too. 
mm. with timelessness. And then we were just looking at our uh, on one lifetime cycle, mm -hmm. energy, and insights, mm. and how connected those two are. And then even the center, the communication in the center, the all times desire and understanding. Mm -hmm. Like those, those are just standing out like crazy or idea and messages at four, a well, daily cycle. Yeah. Ideas and messages. You wrote down 21 messages, remember? Well, it just even change and effect at present moment of going, you know, if you're ha unhappy, you have to change the effect of, and then you go, okay, well, what is cause? Cause is your thinking at, at uh, your thoughts and impressions at five. And then if you change those, then your feelings at seven, because mm -hmm. something's acting as a frequency fence to change your thinking or to stop your thinking or to block your feelings. Anyway, I just, I just think that it's fascinating. Eh? It just goes so well together for mm -hmm. the purpose. Yeah. Yeah, okay. It really does. Okay, so do you want to um, put values on those or you want to do the rest of the choice things? I would like to put values on them. Yeah, me too. Okay, because I think that's probably enough. Like we're, we'll come to the end of the session at that. That's, I mean, 40 concepts might be too much in one session, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. no, that's right. You want to break it up into sort of like 20 and then 20. Yeah, yeah. I'd like to know how I sleep tonight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no kidding. Okay, so do the same thing. Uh, Hold that intention in mind, shuffle the cards, place a value on top of each of those cards. Isn't this so quick and easy? This is so, you don't have to think much. You just got to turn cards over. Exactly. All right, we're ready. We're going to start with timelessness. Yeah, let's go through the same. My perp uh, for timelessness is simplicity. Simplicity. Okay, and try to hold it up there because for the people who are going to be watching this, uh, yeah, that's go. great. That's great. Simplicity. Mine is initiative. Oh, nice. To value the readiness. Nice. Okay, now three. Divinity. Oh, oh, nice one. Oh, Divinity yeah. at idea. No, no, at connection, right? At impact. I got connection. Oh. Okay, wait, wait did I? You have connection? <laughs> yeah, Maury's got connection. Right. And you have impact. Yeah. Same thing. Yeah, same thing, exactly. And mine is responsibility. Okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> Oh, okay. wow. responsibility, the impact of the connection. I know. Six. So, uh, uh, individuality with the value of expansion. Expand. Oh. Cool. Mm -hmm. And I've got habit with discovery. Oh, nice. That's, I love that one. Okay. Going now, to at one insight with kindness no oh, that's beautiful my one wait do you see this okay, let's see. <laughs> and that's a lifetime yeah so lifetime is energy for me but look at my value Okay, and now at four, message. Uh, with message is wildness. Oh, cool. Yeah. That's really cool you chose that because you chose that as one of your 20. Uh -huh. That's I really cool. It. Candace, way to go. <laughs> That's more. Okay, an idea. I've got diversity. Okay. Oops. 
Okay, now a decision two. Decision is awareness. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. And my relatedness is braveness. Braveness. Okay, that's nice. Nice. Okay. Next with change is trust. Oh, nice. I love when you put the values to them. Yeah, me too. Just because it, it just simplifies and it makes it, it makes everything just make so much sense. It does. And mine is effect is freedom. Holy Christ. <laughs> I, did I pick one? Where are you, what the heck? And a five yeah. thought. Well, Hang on. Uh, <laughs> this, this, that this. is cool how she missed that one. Do you want to pick one? I would love to. <laughs> thought is beauty. Oh. No. <laughs> that is so nice. Oh. Okay. Uh, seasonal or that's impression. I've got impression is gratitude. Oh, nice. Awesome. <laughs> it's like, it, this is, you're right. This is putting almost a. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, it does. Okay. So it's my feeling. It's caring. Oh, nice. Oh, that's seven. One, four, two, eight, five, seven. We're already on there. Yeah. And with my frequency fence is compassion. Oh, wow. That's a good one for that one. Just to have that compassion. Be right. Because, because other people will have those barriers, right? Yes. And if you get in with, with compassion, it's a lot better um, to help them get lens yeah. to go yeah. through. Okay. Now, understanding in the center. Yeah. Yeah. Happiness. Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> Oh my happiness! <laughs> no happiness! <laughs> no. It's mine. Innovation. At the desire. Okay. I was thinking joy would come up for me because I chose it. Yeah. Holy cow! Okay, so why don't you go through those a little bit and tell me what you think? <sighs> So the values for me right off the bat is on, on the lifetime cycle being at energy as the choice, but then choosing the value of focus because I have so much energy. And when it, when you bring focus into the energy, mm -hmm. it expands. Mm -hmm. That one's very powerful for me. Well, if I could just add something a little bit, and if you look at that focus on energy for your lifetime, but then you're looking down that line at seven, and then you're seeing the frequency fences that mm -hmm. are blocking, right, the feelings. And so if you're, it's just like looking down the lines too between the Enneagram, give you a sort of like an insight, because that's at the lifetime, for a whole lifetime, looking down at your minute to minute kind of experiences, right? Mm -hmm. so you're holding something for your whole lifetime the focus of the energy, but then you're, it's changing minute to minute, depending on who you're with, depending on the six at relationship. And then you're in a minute to minute kind of experience with them, your clients or members or whoever. Anyway, keep going. I just wanted to. So that one was really cool. And then the other one that stuck out for me was um, desire in the center with innovation. So desire, a longing or craving as for something that brings satisfaction. So that makes sense. You know, you put the desire out there. Innovation to value developing something new or creating something different. I thought that was a really cool card for all times because it's all about innovation and how do we shift and change the way we're doing things that haven't been working. Right. I love that. Keep going. Okay. Okay. Um, I love the the values uh, put that that energy into the choice lenses because choosing the values out of the the twenty and then having them placed here, this really feels like my own personal map. Yeah. Like it reflects who I am and and what I believe in. Like with the kindness and awareness, the trust mm -hmm. and the caring, the happiness in the center. Mm -hmm. uh, it just it. Because the decision, impact, message, thoughts, those are all just kind of words. But then when you put that value to them, because values are very important, 
it just it just creates that meanness mm -hmm. and it, it's that direction and then when I relate it once I understand a little bit more about the different cycles it'll make so much more sense but to have like happiness at all times with my understanding <laughs> it just it just fits it just makes sense mm -hmm. simplicity it, at um, purpose that's exactly it right mm -hmm. uh, kindness with insight that's that's how it happens um, if I go back to messages, I get messages all the time, but having that value of wildness, it's like, that's right. I get them in all different kinds of ways. The ravens speak to me, the license plates, the numbers, yeah. the time, uh, just, just messages from everywhere. It's, mm -hmm. it's wild. And it makes sense to yeah. me that way. Yeah. So I kind of, I agree with Candace where, when she said, you know, we pulled 20 cards because we consciously looked through them and what stood out for us or what came, what touched our hearts. We pick those and then picking from there divinely is very powerful because you've already mm. picked the 20 mm. and now to see where they've been placed and how they just seem to fit where like I'm on eight, the effect is freedom. Mm -hmm. Like, wow, that's crucial mm. for me. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And yeah. so maybe if you just bring over that map, that you guys made together. Mm -hmm. okay. And so these are the top two levels, right? The synergy and the harmony wheel. And now if you, you can place your choice lens inside those, do you see? Wow. You can put it down because he- Yeah, okay. Can you see? But can you guys see it? Do you want to put it down just in front of you for a sec or just to the side? Yeah. <laughs> can you, you can, okay, can you put it down now? <laughs> We're here. Okay, well, just, just you can show, you know, where, where now look at your choice lenses and, and look how they connect into the synergy and the harmony words. Okay, so um, let's say the goal in this part, where we chose the word community and communication. Now we have desire and innovation and understanding and happiness. Like when you think all those four levels, I mean, we don't have the outer you, we don't have the flow of right now, right? Yeah. Because this is a synergy harmony yeah. and then choice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the thing about um, the choice wheel yeah. is that the flow words are fixed, right? right? The synergy wheels are fixed. Yeah. The harmony wheels are fixed. So you've got these concepts and they're in this sort of infrastructure in certain places but then what you did is you started at the bottom where choice exists and choice is, is a, here, I'll show you, um, like if you look at this map, you can see there's paths, strategies, agreements, relationships, fields, resources, jobs, activities, and products. That's the flow wheel. Yeah. And so the idea is this can organize anything like within your kindness project, you're going to have a certain product that you're creating. You're gonna use resources uh, to do so. You're gonna bring strategies into the world to do so. You're gonna have certain jobs that need to get done. You're gonna be in certain relationships and you're creating a field where people go down a path and they do activities, right? And they're having conversations in the middle. These are just very defined structural words that can organize everything that you're gonna do. But by putting values there, like here you can see there's values that are in a different way of seeing it. Now you're programming the intention into the field of the happiness project. And since it's already been up in the ethers for let's say nine years, you're coming in with some strong reprogramming. And so you're doing, I think, very high magic at a very high level in, in ways we, we can't even comprehend. Like, like the, the, the Enneagram is a universal structure if you divide any number by seven, you get 0.142857, 0.142857. It's, it's not a human construct. It's just, it's a result of whether it's God's hidden formula, but mathematics holds the key to how systems come together. 
And so when you have nine, you know, it, it's significant as to the number. And so I, I want to congratulate you guys to jump into the, the world of innovation and actually experience how easy and quick something can be. Like we just took basically 40 concepts, you know, 20 each in under an hour, placed it and gave meaning to them. Wow. And this is just a start, right? I mean, this is the beginning of sort of connecting in. You've already got two big pieces. And so um, I, I'm excited to see, like, I mean, now I see this and I go, okay, well now I've got to map this out in a nice form for you and take it to the next stage. And then I was also thinking if you gave me the pictures of the map you have that I'd make that nice. And then, so I could probably make something quite nice that um, you, know, you can print out. Mind you, right? With the layers? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So Elijah, would, would we, would it be important that we do the flow map with some values or would that? I think so. Or, I mean, you've already done it. I mean, you could, t it depends because I think you got to watch how many maps you make with these. Yeah. Yeah. These, there's a lot that can go on with the maps, but yeah. perhaps Candace hasn't done one. Um, but I, I think next week, I mean, if you really want to dive in, we should get together every week and do this and, and sort of take it step by step along the way. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You we'll, that? we'll see how, yeah. how time, time yeah. is yeah. for the next little bit. But yeah, we'll figure. Yeah, because it's Christmas and everything. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we'll figure something out, Elijah. We'll we'll connect our time, even if it's our lunch hour and we get together yeah. for an hour at lunch. Like seeing what we just did in this short time frame yeah. just mesmerizes me. Yeah. It really does. So, and we've got a lot done already. So. Mm -hmm. Super. Okay. What would you like us to do in the meantime? Well, I think a next step might be to take each of the word, like make a sentence out of the 10 pairs. Okay. Like in relationship to your intention, yeah. how does relate, how, how, why do you have to be brave at relatedness? You know, what is the responsibility of your impact? You know, how does divinity come into the idea? Uh, you know, how are you going to bring gratitude into the impression that you make? Like, what kind of discovery are you going to do with the habit? Like try to go deeper into what they mean together. And that could be a takeaway next step for you. Okay. Yeah, that's a great idea. Well, thank you, Elijah. We really appreciate yes, this. this is, I said to Candace, she walks in tonight and I said, I have a surprise for you. <laughs> she didn't know she was doing it? No. Had no clue. What? No. <laughs> she knew she was coming for a... She didn't work on a choice map, something. but she had no clue. Something. Yeah, and something. Okay. And how how easy would it be for you to uh, repeat this with people there, Lori, in terms of how hard was that as a facilitator to do? I, I, I can do this. I can do this. Yeah. And there's no doubt. Like, I've been working with the maps for a very long time. You've touched in with them in the past. So starting from fresh, it's easy to understand. It's, easy, it's right. And putting the value onto the choice lens and not everybody starts with a choice lens, Elijah. You yeah. know, normally they'll start with a flow or something else. They don't usually go in. Yeah. It's kind of, that usually will come later. Right. So when she said, oh, I'd love to do a choice map number. Okay, Elijah. <laughs> well, it's, it's fascinating. Like I've, like these words that you got here together and again, having the two of you and having the polarity of the choice, because I just know that the choice words work well in pairs. Like the, you, oh. it's very different from having them on their own because they but give more meaning. I didn't together. know that. Yeah, I mean, that's a big one. <laughs> Sorry about that. No, that's okay. I just think <laughs> I just think this is just- oh, I forgot to mention that. I forgot, I forgot <laughs> to tell you. Like, there's I a lot, you. there's a lot that I forgot to mention. <laughs> there's so much that you know it's hard to almost bring it to just a simple level. Well, it's this was great. I mean, this is great for me. I got to get into teaching and doing a lot more sessions. So I'm a very yeah. good of this. We can easily put you up on a big screen, on a Zoom screen, and have people come in and do have 10 people doing maps. Sure. I, I'd love to do that. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Okay. All right. Hey. Have a great Thank week. Thank you so much. Have a Thank great you. rest of the night, and we'll talk to you next week. Okay. Bye, okay. guys. Thank you, Mike.